Back in the mid-90s when episode one came out, this would have been the very coolest of new technologies. And a bunch of different toys used it. I think starting with The Simpsons, perhaps, um, and then some others. Uh, G.I. Joe would eventually go on to use its sound attack feature. But these were uh, little microchips that could interact with readers and playsets and would kind of know, based sometimes on uh, things in the figures, what was going on. So, a pretty cool technology, uh, sort of outdated by today's standards, but harder to come by as an old uh, relic of those ages. You're going to get all three of these cards that feature the technology, two from the Episode 1 cards, and one from the Power of the Force. So you're going to see all three of them right here. We're going to get some photos for the catalog as we make these available to you, and I'll flip them over so you can see the other side as well, where you can see how it was done with these little readers. Now, personally, I don't think that they went far enough. They could have had more interesting play sets where they interacted differently. That is what The Simpsons did. The Simpsons would interact with different play sets differently, depending on uh, what it was and what character. So, you've seen all of them together, you're going to get all three. I'll walk you through each one very quickly, just so you get an idea of the quality and condition of each card. Here, so you can see we've got the battle droid. I'll let the light shine on it there so you can see any kind of uh, creases, bends, folds, five, um, any sort of rips, tears, spindles, or mutilations. And all around, not too bad. A little bending right here, slight crease right there, some bending at the edges, but the, uh, the bubble is on there. It's nice and tight, it's clear. And this one has the slightest of yellowing, I think, perhaps. Not even yellowing, more clouding than anything, but is supple, not uh, brittle, as often can happen to these. We have Anakin, little Annie, right here. Young Jake Lloyd. Flip it over so you can see the back. And although Jake's story is far from ideal, unfortunately he's had some issues in the past few years and we wish him the best. It's a rough life to uh, navigate given his condition and to add to that, you know, the, the backstory of starting off in a fantastic world with tons of uh, uh, fantasy world building that makes you famous at a young age on top of his condition I think makes it makes it pretty unfortunate for him. So. Wherever he is, whatever he's going through, we certainly wish him the best. You get the bubble right there. And as you can see, this one I think is, if possible, even clearer than the uh, Battle Droid one. So this one's not bad at all. We're not seeing much of that bending. We do see some of the sticker. We always leave those stickers, I won't say always, but nearly always leave those stickers on. Uh, they consider that part of the provenance and the history of that figure. Gives a little bit more character, I think. Now this one, I'm already feeling some crush wear on that bubble, so let's look at the back lower here. I'll let the light shine on it, do a little jiggle. All the way up and down there, so you can see nothing too, too uh, terrible. A little creasing right there, slight bending as we see it on the card. A wiggle jiggle on the front. Let that light really, really get on there. Yep, there we go. And then the bubble. So again, bubble's nice and clear. But I'm feeling, so where did I feel that crush wear? Maybe I, oh yeah, there it is. A little bit of crush wear right here on the bottom, if you can see it. And if you can't, well, then that just means it's not really all that bad, but we still want you to be aware of it. So, is this the side that I got already, or I think maybe I got the other side. So I'll get them both again for you. We'll take care of it. This one's pretty fun. This has a, uh, why, I don't know, but he's got a little, uh, T-16 Skyhopper model with him? Did that ever occur in the movie? I don't remember that. I don't not remember him flying one around, but it seems out of place. Nevertheless, you're going to get all three of these. All one lot, all one money. All you have to do is head on over to TheBigToyAuction.com where you can see all three of these and all the other goodies we've got for you this and every week. You can leave your pre-bids right now by hitting those buttons or join us live on auction day. Either way, we'll see you at the auction.